Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's February 23rd, 2023. We are in the Old Testament, and we are in the book of Genesis. We're going to read chapter 49 today. So, Jacob just blessed Joseph's son, and we saw that he blessed Ephraim over Manasseh. They blessed the younger over the older. Now he's got the rest of his sons, and he's going to bless them. And we run through every single son gets a blessing of some sort. How, how much of a blessing it is, I, I guess we'll leave that to you to decide as you read it, as we read them. Uh, I mean, he calls out Reuben as his firstborn and lets him know, hey, you know what? I, I didn't forget that you slept with my one of my concubines, and, and you're not getting a really good blessing. Uh, Judah probably gets the best blessing, which is interesting, as the fourth son. But we, we've seen that he's had a transformation. He went from kind of thinking of himself only to now he's starting to think think about the rest of the people in his family. Uh, in fact, Judah is going to rise up. He get, the blessing gives them kings. Uh, most of the other sons get, get little blessings here and there and call outs. And then we get back to hey. Joseph. Joseph gets another big blessing. But we don't see the, the, the major blessing blessing that was passed down Abraham to Isaac, Isaac to Jacob. We also, we mentioned a little bit yesterday, we don't see God affirming the blessing like he did before. All right, things are changing here. We're going from this patriarchal system of God trying to work with one family and one patriarch in that family. And now they're going to go into slavery in Egypt or well, they're going to go into bondage in Egypt for about 400 years and, and, and God's going to work him into a nation. He's going to show him what it's like to be slaves in a nation. He's going to show him what it's like to have some lack in their lives and, and, and so that they appreciate that he's their God. And he's going to start changing that, that relationship. But right now we get these blessings. And we see all these blessings do eventually come true as we read it. And like I said, keep in mind that we don't see God affirming that blessing and, and, and the covenant is, is changing just a little bit here. Because let's go ahead and read Genesis chapter 49. And Jacob called his sons and, sa and said, Gather together that I may tell you what shall befall you in the last days. Gather together and hear, you sons of Jacob, and listen to Israel your father. Reuben, you are my firstborn, my might and the beginning of my strength, the excellency of dignity and the excellency of power. Unstable as water, you shall not excel. Because you went up to your father's bed, then you defiled it. He went up to my couch. Simeon and Levi are brothers. Instruments of cruelty are in their dwelling place. Let not my soul enter their council. Let not my honor be united to their assembly. For in their anger they slew a man, and in their self-will they hamstrung an ox. Cursed be their anger, for it is fierce, and their wrath, for it is cruel. I will divide them in Jacob and scatter them in Israel. Judah, you are he whom your brothers shall praise. Your hand shall be on the neck of your enemies. Your father's children shall bow down before you. Judah is a lion's whelp. From the prey, my son, you have gone up. He bows down, he lies down as a lion, and as a lion who shall rouse him. The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet, until Shiloh comes, and to him shall be the obedience of the people. Binding his donkey to the vine and his donkey's colt to the choice vine, he washed his garments in wine and his clothes in the blood of grapes. His eyes are darker than wine and his teeth whiter than milk. Zebulon shall dwell by the haven of the sea. He shall become a haven for ships and his border shall adjoin Sidon. His sakar is a strong donkey lying down between two burdens. He saw that rest was good and that the land was pleasant. He bowed his shoulder to bear a burden and became a band of slaves. Dan shall judge his people as one of the tribes of Israel. Dan shall be a serpent by the way, a viper by the path, that bites the horse's heels, so that its rider shall fall backward. I have waited for your salvation, O Lord. Gad, a troop shall tramp upon him, but he shall triumph at last. Bread from Asher shall be rich, and he shall yield royal dainties. Naphtala is a deer let loose. He uses beautiful words. Joseph is a fruitful bough, a fruitful bough by a well. His branches run over the wall. The archers have bitterly grieved him, shot at him, and hated him. But his bow remained in strength, and the arms of his hands were made strong by the hands of the mighty God of Jacob. Then there is the sh from there is the shepherd, the stone of Israel. 
by the God of your Father who will help you, and by the Almighty who will bless you with blessings of heaven above, blessings of the deep that lies beneath, the blessings of the breasts and of the womb. The blessings of your Father have excelled the blessings of my ancestors. Up to the utmost bound of the everlasting hills, they shall be on the head of Joseph and on the crown of the head of him who was separate from his brothers. Benjamin is a ravenous wolf. In the morning he shall devour the prey, and at night he shall divide the spoil. All these are the twelve tribes of Israel, and this is what their father spoke to them. And he blessed them, and he blessed each one according to his own blessing. And he charged them and said to them, I am to be gathered to my people. Bury me with my fathers in the cave that is in the field of Ephron the Hittite, in the cave that is in the field of Machpelah, which is before Mamre in the land of Canaan which Abraham bought with the field of Ephron the Hittite as a possession for a burial place. There they buried Abraham and Sarah his wife. There they buried Isaac and Rebekah his wife. And there I buried Leah. The field and the cave that is there were purchased from the sons of Heth. And when Jacob had finished commanding his sons, he drew his feet up into the bed and breathed his last and was gathered to his people. May God bless reading of his word. May God bless you. Bye.